Guys, what's going on? Welcome to another vlog. This week, it is all about getting the van going again. So I've found a place that does welding, um, or brazing in this case. So last week, I worked out that this pipe, which feeds the injection pump, was slightly loose and suspected this to be the problem with the van not starting well. And eventually, it's not starting at all. As I took this pipe off, it came apart completely. And so I headed over to Harlow to the Volkswagen dealership to see if they could help. First job was to give all the information I had on the van, the year, the type of engine, etc. So I'm here in the Volkswagen uh, parts department here in Harlow, trying to ascertain what um, I need to replace. And I've taken the part off, obviously. Um, but the issue is that the van um, chassis number and the, and the original, um, you know, uh, engine is, is different to what I have. So I have to investigate and firstly find what engine I have um, or where, what car it's come from. So it's a little bit more complex um, than it should be or than it could be. This is what I'm working on here, trying to get this sort of mould off that's built up over the last year or so through the winter. I took the grinder to it. Sanding it all back. I then treated it all with varnish, giving it a couple of coats for good measure. Also drilled a couple of holes in it. So I've found a place that does welding, um, or brazing in this case. So that's good. Um, now I've got to try and get some more of this pipe because I had to cut the pipe to get the, uh, the piece off. So going to another place. Wait, calm down, going so mental. Come on. Guys, I've managed to get a new fuel line from uh, the shop there. So that's good. Um, we're gonna go and measure this up, get the, cut it to size. Um, and then I'm waiting on this guy to fix the bit that's broke. There's a chance that I could be, uh, could be back moving. So that's been fixed guys. He's done a really good job on that, look. So happy days, man. Let's go put this back on. For some reason, the, uh, the fuel's still not getting through. So I've got this easy start. I need someone else though <laughs> to spray that in there or to, you know, do the ignition, but it's nearly there, it's like, it's trying, but... And just like that, comes the John Boy. I'll tell you when. <laughs> Talk me through my shoveling today, I need to... Uh... I need to hear it from the horse's mouth. You was impressed. Much you put, how much have you put on there? Have you impressed? Have, was you impressed today with my shoveling? Not really, mate. Not really, no. <laughs> out of 10? Out of 10? You want, you want grading? Come on, out of 10, Dan. Guinness Book of Records. Dan, out of 10. Shoveling. Out of 10, how's the shoveling? Uh, you don't even get one. Really? Get donkeyed off? You don't get one, he picks it up. you got to get one for picking it up, surely. I need to get a smaller shovel really, that's the key. The smaller shovel and then shovel it onto the bigger shovel. It doesn't look like there's power getting to the fuel pump. I've just tested the fuel pump and uh, with the ignition on, it's not, um, it's not reading the voltage. So oh, maybe there's a cable disconnected somewhere. All right, so we've taken off the same part again, had yesterday. We're gonna prime the pump. We're gonna fill the pump up now directly with fuel. And then uh, hopefully that will then start drawing the fuel through because there's air in the system. So it is hopefully. Oh, that pump's primed. This is the fuel line. Here we go. Let's get this fuel line back. After priming the pump, next job was to bleed the valves. 
These four valves I loosened off one by one each time starting the engine to let the air out. I repeated this process four times. Only a half turn of the nut is sufficient. When you undo the nut, you should see fuel seep out. Then when you go to start it, you're looking for this fuel to spurt out. If it doesn't, then you know that there's still air in the system. This is the one, this is, gonna, this is the one that's done it. Come on. Come on, this is gonna start. It's gonna start. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, come on! We're back on the road, man. I nearly cried, man. I know it may sound dramatic, but this week I've just struggled so much without my van. Um, the problem was caused by the air getting into the system. Um, getting into the fuel system, fuel line basically um, and so you know I had to then obviously show that I've shown the process there bleeding the system priming the pump um, and then with this easy start we managed to get it going um, after bleeding all of the different all four of the, the fuel lines um, sounds super complicated uh, I've got to be honest, I nearly nearly did call the mechanic. In fact, I did call the mechanic to my friend to come and he didn't answer. But the fact that I haven't had to get him out um, is really good news because it's just, A, it hasn't cost me money, obviously. But also now I sort of feel like I've got to the bottom of the problem myself or with help from my friend, Steve. So a big thank you to Steve for all your help in the past week. Um, I feel so happy, man. Um, I've run out of water as I've mentioned, so I need to go and get water, plus I'm playing cricket tomorrow. It's all worked out in, in a bit of a divine way really in the end, um, but yeah, super grateful, super happy. Obviously as well, this week getting, getting lifts everywhere, oh mate, buzzing. Happy days man, come on! For watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. 10 degrees this morning, um, enough that my hands are actually feeling it comments in the box below guys if you've enjoyed the video if you've got any suggestions for future vlogs um, if there's any any tips and advice you want on the process i've been through notification bell now um, for future vlogs as i've said before once a week now at least sometimes two going forward plenty more repairs to be done in the coming weeks